Hey. I didn't see y'all there. Thanks for coming again. I know you're probably saying to yourself, didn't we just see you guys on a live stream? You did. And if you thought Go was good, it's Monopoly time. So uh, this is, of course, Monopoly, episode 216. We're doing this on March the 18th of 2024. Let's go out here and have a great show, why don't we? <laughs> I'm by myself, I guess. All right. Yeah. All right. Here we go, Travis, in three, two, one. Yes, Monopoly! The world's most popular board game is now Monopoly the TV game. Here come the players. The red player, Brandon, the gold player, Jose, and the green player, Chadrick. Here comes Mr. Monopoly, Jason Myers, and here comes our host, Turd Ferguson! Well, 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 we are back again. Sorry we missed you guys last week. Sorry, not sorry, uh, but it is great to have everybody back here again for episode 216 of Monopoly. Man, we've got a fantastic season going on so far. Kyle Hershon, our former champion, was dethroned and de- potentially deflowered uh, last week. And we have a new champion, and he's over here in the red podium. He comes in with $32,565. Please welcome the uh, king himself, Mr. Brandon Scruggs. Hi, thank you. Appreciate it. Good to have you back here on Monopoly once again, uh, Mr. Scruggs. So yeah, over thirty-two thousand dollars. You were not only able to take down Kyle, who had been on one heck of a run, uh, but you were able to win in the bonus game as well. So coming into this week, um, what are you feeling? Um, I'm feeling I probably caught a break on some of those questions, but again, it's a new week, it's a new ball game, new contestants here, so we never know what's going to happen. So I'm just going to give it my best shot, see if he can't go for two in a row. And hey, that is absolutely all you can do. So if you would, just go ahead and remind everybody uh, where you are from, um, what you do for a living, and uh, tell me. If you had to choose to start an all-new game show and you had to choose between your best friend, Kevin Henry, and your wife, Sonny Scruggs, who would you choose and why? Um, Okay, well, first off, I currently reside in Silver, North Carolina. I'm 40 years old. I work at a casino as a table games dealer. I enjoy karaoke, wrestling, game shows, and all that jazz. And the answer to the question would be neither. I would probably choose myself because neither one of them would probably have enough consistent time for me to work with them to be able to put the show on. That is the perfect answer. Thank you very much. Uh, Although I have a feeling that both of them may be pouting in the green room. Uh, But, yes, Brandon, (laughs) we uh, definitely wish you the best of luck. See if you can get your second one in a row tonight. You've got two uh, very interesting opponents. We start with the one over here in the uh, gold position. Yes, we had to go with gold because he's probably pissing his pants right now, knowing that he's going up against Brandon Scruggs. Ladies and gentlemen, back once again from Red Oak, Texas. He is the the whiniest whiner that's ever seen a game show. It's Jose Cazarez. Oh, man. It's been a hot minute, but I'm glad to be back. Hey, it is definitely good to see you again here, Jose. We take a quick look at how you've done so far this season. You're currently sitting in 14th place overall with $1,190. Good news for you is this. You're only about $7,500 roughly out of that ninth and final position for the Tournament of Champions, so this could be a big night here for you. And I know the stakes are huge here with uh, us being in the fu- with y'all being in the final stretch. I mean, this may be my last chance to even climb the leaderboard. So I've I've got to make an effort here, and I will certainly do my best. You know, I would definitely say it may not be your last chance, but I always say play it like it's your last chance because you never know what could happen. So I think that's definitely a good way to come into this. So if you would, Jose, remind everybody. Um, 
where you where you're from even though i did kind of mention it uh what you're doing uh currently in your life and the final question i have to ask you m ms red or green <laughs> all right well i am a full-time college student from as you mentioned red of texas a I'm studying early childhood education and as for Evan M's red or green, I, I'd have to go green. Hey, Although, fair. For, well, not for the reason you think. I'm, I'm not even going to tell you what the reason is, I think, because then we would not make it to episode 217. But yes, I was like, thank you for being here. Yeah, good luck to you. And speaking of green, we now go over here to the to the man in the green, you know, some of you know him as Shedrick Weatherspoon Jr. Those of us that know him and consider sometimes whether we love him, like him, whatever, he comes back to us from somewhere in Louisiana, deep hidden in the uh, deep state. It's shit brick. Hello, people. Well, Mr. Shit Brick. This is actually your first appearance with us here in season two. Uh, where the hell have you been? The real question is where I've not been. <laughs> but uh, jokes aside, I have been uh, traveling and putting in the work in the military. So, yeah, that's why you didn't see me too much. Well, if you were turning that on me and asking me that question, where have you not been in a women's underwear? Um, but oh. <laughs> we'll uh, continue on with this interview. So, uh, yeah, this, like I said, this is your first time here. So you have a real opportunity here to uh, make an impact. See if you can get yourself into that top nine. So if you would, uh, let everybody know exactly where you're from, what you do for a living. And if you want to, instead of me asking you a question, why don't you tell everybody about how you got the name shit brick? Well, my name is Cedric Lesman Jr. I am currently residing in Veterans, Louisiana as a military officer. Currently uh, working in the newsroom and also getting my first attendance sometime down the road. And the reason why I got the nickname Shit Brick is because apparently I was in base training. Someone saw my face with the uh, blisters of uh, ingrown hair looking like a reverse Freddy Krueger. And someone literally, uh, well, Shit Brick. There you go. Oh, well, that's interesting because the story I've always heard is you had a little bit of a, a speech thing when you were in kindergarten and the teacher said, what's your name, young man? You went, shit back. And she was like, <laughs> that is totally untrue. Do not listen to that story. It's untrue. There's he, no proof. He was you saying Shedrick, school, but the man. teacher thought he said shit brick and he got sent to the office. And that was one of his many paddlings that he got in elementary school. But, um. They but don't yeah. do that in elementary school, dude. They don't. Uh, uh, what, trust me. When well, I was in school, and I'm 45 years old, when I was in school, they absolutely did. Because when I was in first grade, I got my butt tore up on the regular. So, well, I know that's a surprise that to everyone. I'm <laughs> but, not surprised they didn't do it where I was at. Yeah, with that they, being they said. something else. I, I couldn't tell. Yeah. With that being said, we wish you the best of luck. So, ladies and gentlemen, these are your players tonight for Monopoly. So here we go. Of course, this is round one. This is the acquisition phase of our game. Here in this round, of course, we're going to be going around our board, stopping at each and every property. You'll notice at the bottom of that property, there's a dollar amount. I'll be asking these players questions to see if they can get it correct. If they do, they will earn that dollar amount and also take control of that piece of property. If they get it wrong, however, they will lose the dollar amount. If at any point all three players get the question wrong, we'll cut that dollar amount in half until someone does get a correct answer. Once we've made it through all the properties in that color group, if someone owns them all, they will take over the monopoly itself. It'll turn their color and they will be given the combined value of that group as some additional bonus money. If multiple people own it, we will, of course, go into a showdown round to see how, or not just how, but who's going to take that group. So with that being said, let's get to it. So let's do a quick check of our buzzers. Brandon, that's, of course, shift one for you. Very good. Jose, let's see if you know. Very good. And shit, Brick. Fantastic. All right, here we go with our first question. We start in our brown property groups and Mediterranean Avenue. This is a $60 property, players. Your first question of the night 
goes as follows. In a standard game of Trivial Pursuit, which color represents a geography question? And that's Brandon. Blue. Blue is correct. Well done. $60 comes to you. You own one of the brown properties. Next, we move over to Baltic Avenue. This is another $60 property. Here comes your question. Mercury and aneroid are the two main types of which instrument that records pressure? Shit brick. Thermometer. Say again? Thermometer. No, I'm sorry. That's going to cost you 60. Brandon. Brandon. Barometer. Barometer is correct. Well done. That gives you $60. You big dummy. And Brandon, you own both of the properties in that group. That gives you $120 of combined value, taking you up to $240. A good start. We now move over to our light blues and Oriental Avenue. $100 players for this next question. In the Bible, apart from Cain and Abel, who was Adam and Eve's other named son? Mm. Oh. Nope. All right, and with that buzz, if you guys give me just a second, I do want to make a quick adjustment to my sound because I want to make sure everybody is hearing me. All right, so with that being said, we've got that fixed now. So the correct answer on that one is Seth. Seth. Yeah, okay. All right, so with that, we're going to be cutting this property down into $50 now until we get a correct answer. In Europe, which country is the furthest north? And that's Brandon. Is that Denmark? No, I'm sorry. That's going to take you to 190, Jose or Shitbrick. Not going any further down the hall. Nope. <laughs> No, I don't know what either. I'm risk it. Well, it is one of the countries in that area. It's Norway. Ah, what's the other side? Ah, I would have said, yeah, said UK. All right, let's try another $50 question. The Rook and the Jackdaw are members and that shit brick. That's the round table. Crap! <laughs> no, that's going to cost you 50 and plenty of embarrassment. We continue. The Rook and the Jackdaw are members of which family of birds? Brandon. Is it crows? They are crows. Fifty dollars over to you. You're up to two forty. Win it to the end. You have one of the light blue properties. We now move over to Vermont Avenue. Another one hundred dollars for this question. In science, which common unit is used to measure electric current? Jose. Volt. No, I'm sorry. That's going to cost you. Brandon or shit shit brick. Is it amps? Amps is correct. One hundred dollars to you. Uh, You're up to negative ten. <laughs> All right. So now Brandon one property and Shitbrick one uh, property. We now move over to Connecticut Avenue. One hundred twenty dollars. Next question. In language, which alphabet's first letter is Alf? A L E P H. Jose. Well, uh, Latin. I don't know. Pass. No, I'm Damn sorry. That's, no, you can't give an answer and then pass. Latin. You Gosh, lost it. No, you can't give another answer either. Shut up. All right, Brandon or shit, Brick. Good God. M and M's. Yeah, I can't, dude. I, know, I lost it. It's Hebrew. Oh, Hebrew. Yeah. Oh, I lost my. Oh God. Yeah, that's. Yeah, if you didn't know that, that's uh, what they said about Jesus when he was making coffee. Hebrew. Um. <laughs> So, thank you. Uh, all right, we're going to cut that property value now down in half. It's $60. Next question. In which city is the musical 42nd Street set? Brandon. New York City. New York City is correct. $60 over to you. You're up to $300. All right. Now we go into a showdown round. Brandon, you have two correct answers so far, which means you need one more. Shitbrick, you have one correct answer. You need two. Jose, you don't have anything, so you're going to sit this one out. So here we go. First showdown question. What is the opposite of concave? Brandon. Convex. Convex is correct, and you have taken the light blue properties. With that comes $320 of combined value, taking you up to $620.
We now make our turn onto Second Street and our Magenta properties. We start with St. Charles Place. $140 players for this next question. Which Shakespeare character has a mother called Gertrude and an uncle called Claudius? That would be Mr. Green Eggs and Hamlet. Oh, Hamlet. Yeah. Yes. All right, we cut the property value in half down to $70 now for the next one. In the painting, the Mona Lisa, which usual facial feature is missing? Brandon. Eyebrows? Eyebrows is correct. $70 over to you. You're up to Mark Wilde's favorite number, 690 We now move over to Safe Avenue. $140 for this question. For what purpose is Trini Trotoluian mainly used? Touching nope. that one. Nope. Well, there's a lot of letters in there, and if you pull a few of them out, TNT. It's an explosive. Oh, sure. Okay. okay. And to any of you out there that say you pronounced that wrong, yeah, I probably did. Shut up. All right. We're cutting that value down in half now. $70 players. Next question. How old was JFK when he was sworn in as U.S. president? Well, he was 43. 43. Still $70. Next question. In film. Whose first Hollywood screen test was assessed with the words can't act, slightly bald, can dance a little, shit brick? Nuts. I got nothing. No, I'm sorry. Nuts Stop is this. not correct. You'll lose some of your negative 80. Brandon or Jose? Can't act, slightly bald, can dance a little. Jose. Well, try it. Charlie Chaplin? No, I'm sorry. Good guess, but no. Negative two nights where you're at. Brandon, you want a shot? No, I'll pass. And this one, a little tough. I think you could have gave you a thought a little bit. Fred Astaire. Oh, really? Yes, wow. Fred Astaire. Huh. All right, still $70. Next question. In the animal kingdom, ship and Norway are both types of which rodent? Brandon. Say mouse. Uh, I'm sorry. I cannot give you that. Okay. That's fine. Lost 70 there. Jose. Rat? Rat is correct. Uh, yeah. okay. All right. That takes you up to negative 220. All right. So, Jose, you have one. Brandon, you have one. All right. We now move over to Virginia Avenue. $160 players for this question. What form of mechanized transport was first introduced to New York in 1907? Jose. The subway? No, I'm sorry. It's going to cost you $160. Oh, oh my Brandon God. or Shipbrick? And that'd be Brandon. Was it the taxi? It is the taxi. $160 oh, comes over to you. You're up to seven eighty. All right, another showdown time. Brandon, I'm going to need one correct answer from you. Jose, I'm going to need two. Shit, Brick, you'll take a break here. Here we go. Remember, there's no money at stake here other than just trying to win the Monopoly and its combined value. In religion, the Prophet Muhammad, whose name means literally praised, was the first leader of what religion? Brandon. Uh, Muslim? We will accept Muslim there. And you have uh, taken the magenta properties. That's worth $440 of combined value, taking you up to $1,220. We now move over to the orange properties. And we start with St. James Place. $180. All players are back in with this question. In the human body, how many anvils are there in each ear? Brandon. One. One is correct. Takes you up to 1400 You have one orange property. Next up is my home place, Tennessee Avenue. $180 for this question. In history, in which year did the Soviet Union cease to exist? Uh, 
That was 1991. Oh, 1991. All right, player. <laughs> value is cut in half. $90. Here comes your next question. In which U.S. city might you visit the U.N. headquarters and the Rockefeller Center? Brandon. Oh, yeah. That'd be New York City. And New York City again. Ninety dollars over you. You're up to, you're up to fourteen ninety. You have two orange properties. Next, we have New York Avenue. That's the home of Mr. Kyle Hershon. Two hundred dollars for this question. Who sang "The Power of Love" on the soundtrack of the nineteen eighty five film Back to the Future? Shitbrick. Can we do this in the news? You and Lewis in the news, yes. Two hundred dollars comes over to you. Lord. You're up to one twenty. All right, we are now ready. We have a showdown round now. Brandon, again, you only need one answer. Shit brick, you're gonna need two. Jose, you're gonna take a break. Here comes that first showdown question. In math, is the denominator the number above and that shit brick? That is the bottom denominator. That is the bottom. All right. That's your first correct answer. Whoever ha gives me the next correct one will take the orange properties. Here comes that next question. John Philip Sousa wrote the tune later used as the theme music for which television circus? Okay. Oh, y'all are going to kick yourself. That's Monty Python's Flying Circus. No. Yeah. All right. Okay. Next one. Still looking for one correct answer from one of you. Which astronaut was 77 years old when he went up and that shit brick? Is it Buzz Aldrin? No, I'm sorry. No. I'll finish the question for Brandon. Which astronaut was 77 years old when he went up in a space shuttle in 1998? I don't know. That was John Glenn. John Glenn. Wow, wow. Okay, I don't feel bad anymore. All right, still another toss up here. Looking for one answer. Private Dancer was an album released by which pop singer in 1984? Shit, Brick. Found the Dark, Michael Jackson. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. Brandon, you want a shot? Go ahead. Was it Prince? No, that was Tina Turner. Oh. It's, oh, wow. Okay, then. All right. Next one. In which decade did Charles Strite first market his pop-up toaster? Brandon. The 40s. No, I'm sorry. Shit, Brick. Remember, no money at risk. Go ahead. 50s. Say it again. The 50s? No, I'm sorry. It was the 1920s. 1926, to be exact. Oh, I should have went under. I should have went under. Hey, way back then. Earlier than I thought. Yeah. All right. Well, let's continue on. Which dog has breeds called Clumber and Cocker? Shitbrick? The Spaniel? The Spaniel is correct. And Shitbrick, you have taken the orange property group. With that comes $560 of combined value, taking you up to $680. We now make our turn on to 3rd Street. And we start with Kentucky Avenue, home of Mr. Uh, John Bergman's family members. They all share one tooth, if you remember correctly. This is a $220 property. All players are eligible for this question. The song Climb Every Mountain features in which musical? I think I'm going to need uh, uh, Mr. Monopoly's uh, Break the Glass music when I throw these questions out the window. Um, that one was from The Sound of Music. Oh, it was. Oh, get out. Thank you. <laughs> All right. We're going to cut that value down in half. $110, players. Next question. In the Olympic sport of beach volleyball, each medal match is the best of how many sets? Jose. Five? No, I'm sorry. It's going to cost you 110. Brandon, uh, shit break. Is it best out of three? It is best of three, yes. $110 to you. You're up to 790 hey, You have I one of the red that. properties. We now move over to the home of John Bergman himself. It is Indiana Avenue. 
$220. Here comes your next question. What is the usual French equivalent of the English word castle? Jose. Castile? No, I'm sorry. It's going to cost you 220 You're at negative 710 Brandon or Shitbrick? Nope, nope, nope. Mm -mm. Thank you. That would be a chateau. Oh, oh I'm a oh. freaking chateau. Oh my god. Yeah, some people on the French some people on the French court are gonna kick my butt. Alright, so we're gonna cut this deeper. this question in half. What's new? Hundred and ten dollars here. We basically tonight these questions are all getting circumcised. Um <laughs> yeah. Alright players, here comes your next question. On the internet, what does the abbreviation FAQ stand for? Brandon. Oh, what? Frequently asked questions. Frequently asked questions is correct. Takes you up to 1600. That quick. Shit brick, one, you have one property. Brandon, you have one property. We now move over to Illinois Avenue. $240 players for this question. In science, what specific term is used to describe the study of earthquakes? Brandon. Seismology. Seismology is correct. $240 over to you. You're up to 1840. Oh All right. God. We're ready for a showdown again. Jose, you'll be sitting out. Brandon, I need one correct answer. Shit brick, I need two. You've done it before. Let's see if you can do it again. Here Here's comes the thing. first one. In medicine, during which specific year in the 1970s did the World Health Organization declare that small, smallpox was eradicated? Shit brick. Um, 73. No, I'm sorry. Brandon, you want a shot? Go ahead. You're 72. No, you were both a little early. It was 77. Oh, year wow. before okay. I was born. Good fucking man. All right, here we go. Another showdown question. Which female pop country pop singer had a hit in 1999 with a song That Don't Impress Me Much? Shit brick. Uh, Dolly Parton. Nah, no. Yes. Yeah. Scruggs. Shania Twain. Shania Twain is correct, and Scruggs, you have taken the red property group. Okay. With that comes $680 of combined value, taking you up to $2,520. We now move over to our yellow properties and Atlantic Avenue. $260 until you miss the question for this one. Better known for his work with W.S. Gilbert, who uh, com composed, excuse me, the tune called St. Gertrude for the hymn Onward Christian Soldiers? <laughs> and that would be um, Sir Arthur Sullivan. Would have accepted just Sullivan. Never heard of him. All Same. right. We will cut the property value in half, $130. Next question. Which British leader wrote, It may almost be it may almost be said, before Alamein, we never had a victory. After Alamein, we never had a defeat. Brandon. Is it Churchill? That's that's normally the best way to go. Churchill is correct. Hundred and thirty dollars comes to you. Oh Christ, I, You're I, I second guess six fifty. So, no. Now we move that's over to Vintner Avenue. Two hundred and sixty dollars. Next question. In food. Which herb's name is derived from the Greek for king? Brandon. Is it uh, um, parsley? No, I'm sorry. It's going to cost you two sixty. You're down twenty three ninety. Jose or shipwreck? Oh, that would be basil. 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 I had it between basil and parsley, and I went the wrong way. All right. $130, players. Next question. In clothing, the eyelet and tongue are both parts of what? And that's Brandon. Shoe. A shoe is correct. That gives you $2,520. You have two properties. Next up, Marvin Gardens. $280, players. Here comes your question. Which item of sportswear, typically worn by gymnasts, was named after a French... And that's shipwreck. Oh, no! Is that the leotard? That is the leotard. $280 takes you up to 1070 College gymnastics! All right, Jose, you'll be taking a break here again. 
Shit brick, I'm going to need two correct answers from you. Mm-hmm. Brandon, only one. Here comes that first showdown question. In the musical My Fair Lady, what was the mm-hmm. name of the flower girl who was taught to cope with high society? <laughs> that was Eliza Doolittle. We might have guessed that. All right, next question. Greenwich Village and the Guggenheim Museum are features of which U.S. city? Brandon? Is it New York City? It is New York City. (laughs) And Brandon, you have taken the yellow property group. With that comes $800 of combined value, taking up to $3,320. We now make our turn... Torture. We make our turn on to 4th Street, and we are to a very specific avenue. That's right. It's Pacific Avenue. $300. Oh, everybody's involved with this question. In the animal kingdom, from which continent does the yak come? Brandon. Is that North America? No, it is not. Taking you down to 3020. Jose. Jose. Asia. Asia is correct. Three hundred dollars. That takes you to oh. negative four hundred and ten. We now move over to the home of Mr. Brand Scruggs. It's North Carolina Avenue. Three hundred dollars for the next question. In history, of what country was Edie Amin head of state between nineteen seventy one and nineteen seventy nine? That would have been Uganda. Oh, you got to be kidding me, guys. You got to be kidding me. <laughs> As if to say. He's son of a bitch. All right, $150 now. Next question. In economics, for what do the letters I, M, F stand? Brandon. Is it invested mutual fund? No, I'm sorry. It's going to cost you 150 Jose or Shitbrick? I can't risk going deeper in the hole. No. No. That would be the International Monetary Fund. Oh. Dang it. Ah. All right. Still $150. Next question. What is the capital of Scotland? Jose. Edinburgh? Edinburgh is correct. You're at negative 260. You own two green properties. Now we go to the home of the president, Pennsylvania Avenue. $320 players for this question. In the animal kingdom, which of these spiders is the most venomous? Is it the false widow or the black widow? Jose. Dang it. Black widow. Black widow is correct. And Jose, $320 takes black you to 60 boy. You have every property in that group giving you... The Green Property Group, $920 of combined value, bringing you up to $980. We now go to our final property group. These are our dark blues. We start with Park Place. This is a $350 question. Everyone is involved. Which M, as in monkey, is a country on the southern coastline of Africa that suffered... And that's Jose. Madagascar. No, I'm sorry. Uh, of course. Well, it cost you three fifty. Uh, uh, I will continue. Which M is a country on the southern coastline of Africa that suffered devastating floods in February and March of 2000? Brandon. Is it Mozambique? Mozambique is correct. Oh, three fifty comes to you, taking you to thirty two twenty. And now we are to our final property here in the acquisition phase. This is Boardwalk. 400 big dollars can make a difference. Here comes your question. In flower arranging, what O is the trade name of a green block of light material used to hold cut flowers in place? Oh, what's it called? It's an oasis. Oh, well, really? I was overthinking it. Yes. Sorry, my mother's in that right. business. Oh, I should have known that. All right, we're going to cut that property in half. Two hundred dollars now. Still a nice, healthy amount for this question. In the human body, is the aorta the largest artery, or 
And that shit brick. The largest artery. Capitalist. And lucky for you, it was that word. Oh artery is correct. Two hundred dollars to you. Oh you have to twelve seventy. Give me strength. And now we have the final showdown between Brandon and Shitbrick. One correct answer is all I need from either of you to take the dark blues. Here is that yes. question. Kathmandu is the capital of which country? I'm sorry, that was after the buzzer. Was time, was what time. did you think it was, was though? Uh, I was going to say uh, Nepal. You would have been right. Damn it. <laughs> it hit me at the last second. God hey. bless. Hey. At the last second. Oh. All right, next one. Okay. Does the island of Corfu lie in the Aegean or the Ionian Sea? Shit, Brick. The first thing you say, Aegean? I want to say I'm sorry, Aegean is not correct. Brandon? Which means Ionian. Ionian yeah. is correct, and Brandon, that means you have taken the dark blue properties. With that comes $750 of combined value, taking you up to $3,970. And that brings us to the end of our acquisition phase. Here is where we currently stand. Right now in third place is our gold player, Jose Cosres. He has one Monopoly and $630. In second place is Shipbrick. He has one Monopoly and $1,270. And in first place, with a total of six Monopolies and $3,970 is our current champion, Brandon Scroves. But remember, anything can change as we go into our big money round. As we take our first commercial break here, players are going to be spending some of that money to put houses and hotels on their property. And when we come back, it's that 15-minute big money round to find out who's going to go on to play for up to $50,000 when we go once around the block. Right here on your favorite board game that's now a game show. That's right. It's Monopoly.
Alright, welcome back everybody here to Monopoly. You see that there is some shit that has happened since you were here last. So we have a ton of hotels on the board and got a good fair amount of houses as well. So after that has happened, let's take a look at where things are standing as we get ready here for our big money round. We have got our champion, Brian Scruggs, is now actually in third place with $20 remaining. Jose is in second with $30 and right now Shipbrick is in first with 520 and this is one of my favorite times of this show it is when I bring out my good pal and Mr. Monopoly himself ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the Monopoly stage Mr. Jason Myers thank you thank you thank you Taylor. so uh, Jason are you uh, sorry or not sorry to be back here again mm. Yes. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, so, yeah, quite the interesting game so far. Um, although it looks like Scruggs is running away with it, Shedrick has kept it close, and Jose was starting to come around there towards the end. Um, wh what are you thinking about the game? There's still a lot of dark horses at play, especially Jose. Never count this kid out. That's true. He can sometimes be a horse's ass, but who knows? Uh, what will happen here? It is all up to him. So yeah, it's Great. good to have you here. I'm sure you brought those uh, nice, fancy, shiny dice. Yep, the chance dice. Yep, brought them. Got them. <laughs> yeah, fantastic. All right, so you can go ahead and make your way over to the dice table as I go ahead and explain here how we do our big money round. Of course, there's 15 minutes that's going to be on the clock here, players. We are going to try to make as many trips around this board as we can within that 15 minutes. If we land on a property that you happen to own, then you're going to get asked a trivia question, and it will be worth <coughs> the amount that will be shown on the card in the middle of the screen uh, based on the upgrades that you've made to your property. If you miss the question, it won't cost you any money, however, but it will become a toss-up for the other two players. If one of them gets it right, they will get that rent money, but if they get it wrong, uh-oh, uh SpaghettiOs, they're going to lose the money. Of course, we've got other great properties on the board. We've got our utilities and waterworks, electric company. We've got my favorites, Chance and Community Chest. <laughs> uh, we haven't, unfortunately, set fire to those on the board yet. And then everybody's <laughs> favorite, of course, are those railroads where there's a chance to for a hostile takeover that can change this game in an instant. So with that being said, if everybody's ready, let's play the 15-minute big money round. 
All right, so with that being said, we've got Jason, Mr. Monopoly over there, throwing those dice around in his hand. Whenever he throws it, I will start the clock, and we'll make that first move. One and a four, four, five. Here we go. Oh, my God. Already? Get it on. Kate. It's hostile takeover time, players. All you have to do is answer this question correctly, and you get a chance to take over somebody's property. Good luck. All right, players, here we go with that first hostile takeover. In the animal kingdom, is the head of the male mallard duck, is it black, dark green, or light green? And shit brick. I'm going to say dark green. Dark green is correct. So shit brick. Give it to me. Okay. All right. You are now going to choose which of these properties that you want to go after. Remembering if you miss a question there, you will pay the rent based on the upgrades to the property. Where are we going? We are going to St. Charles place. All right. Starting here. So that means $750 is at risk for this question. You give me three correct answers. You will take that property group from Brandon and you will be given the combined value while we will not take it from him. Miss a question anywhere along the way. The hostile takeover ends and you're going to be paying him some rent. So here we go with your first question. In history, the first Roman invasion of Britain took place in 55 BC under which military leader? I want to say Julius Caesar. Julius Caesar is correct. That's one. Okay. We okay. now move over to States Avenue. Another $750 at risk on this question. In the United States of America, Independence Hall is a feature of which Pennsylvania city? Fudge. I have filled up the. Oh my god! That was before the buzzer. Philadelphia is correct. Oh my Christ! I Wait, almost accepted. Strength, I almost accepted fudge. All right, so here we go. This is it. Get this correct. You take the property group. If not, you're paying Scruggs nine hundred bucks. So here we go. Come on. Complete the line of this nursery rhyme. Little Miss Muffet. That was her tuffet. I can accept that on her tuffet. So you have taken the magenta property group. With that comes $440 of combined value, taking you to 960. And this hostile takeover has been successfully completed. Can't All right, Mr. Monopoly, if you will, give us our next roll. Out of my butt, man. <laughs> I couldn't think of the city. I would say put it back in, but that's just gross. Yeah. yeah. Four and a one, four, five. Again. That's gross, Again. Jason. All right, New York Avenue is where we're at. All right, shit, Rick. Let's see if you can pull this answer out of your ass for $1,000. All right. Shipwreck, what French term, beginning with the letter C, is given to a road closed at one end? <laughs> Sorry, time is up, Brandon. Cul-de-sac. Cul-de-sac is correct. You have taken oh, that $1,000 in rent. Gosh. Takes you up to 1020 All right, Mr. Monopoly, <laughs> next roll, please. Four and a six foot ten. I was about to say, if you're going to say four and a one again, we're fighting. All right, Marvin <laughs> Gardens is where we've landed. <laughs> All right, Brandon, here's a chance to get some money to recoup what you lost, 1200 All right, Brandon, what was the first name of Jenner, the inventor of the smallpox va vaccination? No. Nope. Yeah. All right. Toss up now for Jose or Shipbrick. What was the first name of Jenner? And that Shipbrick. Edward. Edward is correct. You have taken the twelve hundred dollars, oh, taking you up to twenty one sixty. All right. Next roll, Mister Monopoly. Revenge. <laughs> One and two for three. Oh. All right. North Carolina Avenue. Oh. All right, Jose, here's a chance for you to get in the four figures. 1275 on the line. 
Uh, this is actually 1,020 since it's only four houses oh, we're used sorry. to. Vote. Okay. Still four figures. No, nope. yeah, no problem. <laughs> you still got it right. All right, Jose, who directed the film series of Star Wars? Oh, are you kidding? Oh. Uh, Toss up. No Shit break. George Lucas. George Lucas is correct. 1,020 oh, takes oh, you up to 3,180. Oh, Mr. Monopoly next draw. Oh, we're under 10 minutes remaining. Parker, I was waiting. Chomping at the bits. Three and two, four, five. Damn, oh, Jesus. All right, Park Place. All right, Brandon, another chance for you to get some money. T uh, yeah, 1500 on the line. Numbers can't even. Yeah. <laughs> Words, English can't, shirt coming sometime. All right, here we go. Uh, Brandon? In pop music, which band released the 1980s hit Karma Chameleon? Oh, uh, um, Culture Club. That was in time. Culture Club is correct. Fifteen hour to you. You're up to twenty five twenty. Oh, buddy. Next Good roll. Job. I can see them. I was like trying to find the name. All the fives are out forever. <laughs> two, three. Three, two again. Damn it. Uh -oh. All two right. So hey, we have board. passed go. That's two hundred dollars for each player, and we have a community chest. Let's take oh, a look. Lord. Our first community chest card says, all right, red player, you're going to be making some building improvements. It's going to be $50, oh. $50 per house, $250 per hotel. So we're Ooh. going to pause the clock for math. So let's see. We've got $750, $1,500, uh, 2250 uh, $2,750. Uh, let's see, 30 to, well, you're, I'm just going to be taking, not, well, no, right. that's, you'll go on the negative. 750, 1,500, 2,250, 2,500, 5, 6, 5, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, Total. And we are going to take that from you. And that goes into free parking. So free parking is a huge one. All right, restarting the clock now. And Mr. Monopoly, next roll, please. Hey, look, it's... Oh, wait, I turned that sound effect off. It's doubles, 66 for 12. Okay. <laughs> All right, racing around, and we have landed on Virginia Avenue. All right, Shedrick, you just acquired this property. Now is a chance to capitalize on it. 900 bucks. All right, Shitbrick, in nature, do butterflies usually rest with their wings vertical or horizontal? Vertical. Vertical is correct. Nine hundred dollars over to you. Takes you to forty-two eighty. Next roll, please. Eight. So it's a five again. No. But you got doubles again. Six and six again. Oh my goodness! Another twelve, <laughs> and we have landed on Atlantic Avenue. All right, Brandon. Time to get out of the negatives. Eleven fifty on the line. Brandon, what S? Is the process of extracting metal from its ore by heating? Uh, no idea at this point. Yeah. Toss up, shit brick. Smelting. Smelting is correct. Eleven fifty. Over to you. You're up to fifty four thirty. Thank you. Turn off. All right. Next row. We're under seven minutes remaining. I mean. So that was one, that was two, and that's three. Oh, uh, play, players, you have all gone to jail. You were paying $50, and that goes into free parking, taking the free parking jackpot up to $3,850. We're all out of jail now. Next roll, please. Three and five for an eight. And that takes us to Tennessee Avenue. 
All right, Shipbrick. 950 on the line to recoup some of the money you lost. Shipbrick, in sport, which women's gymnastics exercise is always accompanied by music? No, that's not that. <laughs> Jose. Uh, rhythmic ribbon? No, I'm sorry. Cannot take that. That's going to cost you 950 what? Brandon, would you oh, like it? Can you repeat the question again? In sport, which women's gymnastics exercise is always accompanied by music? Brandon. I'd say four. Floor exercise? Floor exercise is what we were looking for. You take the night. Oh, they yeah, do sometimes exercise. use the ribbons on that, but it's actually called the floor or floor exercises. All right. I've Next seen roll. the term. Crap, man. Good job, Brandon. Two and four for a six. Back in the hole. And that gets us to Illinois Avenue. All right, Brandon. Here's a chance to keep on adding 1100 bucks. All right, Brandon. In ancient literature, was the playwright Aeschylus, and that's A E S C H Y L U S, Greek or Roman? I think he was Greek. Greek is correct. $1,100 for you. Takes you up to $1,520. We are under five minutes remaining. Next roll, please. Two and two for four. It's doubles. All right. Okay. So we've landed on the waterworks. Tell how it works there, Mr. Monopoly. Well, that's one of our two. Uh, yeah, it's one of our two properties where whatever we roll, we times it by a hundred, and that's the value of the question. So four hundred dollars on the line. All right. Open Everyone's seat. involved here. Get ready on your buzzers. In nature, which D is the flower that's also called the lint and that shit brick? You are. No, I'm sorry. That does not cost you any money. Jose or Brandon. It's also called the Lint Lily. And that's Brandon. Uh, Daffodil. Daffodil is correct. $400 oh, cube. Yeah, You're up to $19.20. All right, next roll, please. Doubles again. 66 for a 12. Oh, what is it with the 12 tonight? All right, we've landed on go. $200 for the players. And another roll. Hopefully it's not doubles. Four and five for a nine. That takes us over to Connecticut Avenue. And a chance for Brandon to get some more money. $600 on the line. Brandon, in science, should a space rocket travel at 7 or 70 miles per second to leave Earth's atmosphere? That would be 70, I would hope. No, it's not. Shit brick. <laughs> Shit brick. Seven. Can you hear me? Seven. Can you hear me? So, yeah, it did now. Seven is correct. You take the $600. Oh. You're up to 6180 Is my mic going out? Right. <laughs> Next roll. Holy crap, man. Three, three, oh. four, six. Oh, doubles are back. Yeah. And, and it's Pennsylvania yeah. Railroad. Which means it's time for another hostile takeover, players. Another chance to take over somebody's property. Good luck. Players in geography, Latvia, Lithuania, and which other republic make up the group known as the Baltic States? <laughs> that would be Estonia. Unfortunately, no hostile takeover this time. Next roll. One and two foot three. That'd be Tennessee Avenue. And Shipbrick, another chance to get some money. 950 on the line. Shipbrick and the musical The Sound of Music. How many singing Von Trapp children were there? Four? No, I'm sorry. Brandon or Jose, toss up. That'd be seven. Seven. Oh, All right, Mr. Monopoly, next this. row. We're under two minutes remaining. Five and five for a ten. Oh, dear. And that takes us to Waterworks. Yep. We're back on the property again. A thousand dollars on the line for that roll. All right, players, everybody involved. In food, what is the main ingredient of the dish bouillabaisse? Uh, 
That would be fish. Fish. Ow. All right, next roll. Mm. Four, three, four, seven. Ah, we're to the oh, short line. Oh, and another chance for you to take over somebody's property, players. All aboard if you want that chance. <laughs> All right, players. In, I'm sorry. In, the author, Arthur C. Clarke, was a radar instructor in which World War? Shit, Brick. World War II. That is correct. Where are we attacking? What? I took a guess, dude. Okay. Yeah. Well, I want to keep some money, so I'm going to go Mediterranean and Baltic. Okay. So we start Medi Whoops. Start with Mediterranean. 250 at risk here. Next question. In history, in what year did the Bolsheviks seize power in Russia? Uh, 19... 82? No, I'm right. sorry, 1917. That means we're going to be taking $200 away from you and passing it to Brandon. And this hostile takeover is over. And with that sound, we have reached the end of the big money round. Here is where we currently stand. Right now in third place is Jose Cosrez, our yellow player, at negative $570. In second place is the champ, Brandon Scruggs, at $2,320. And in first place is our green player, Shipbrick, with $5,980. We're going to take our final commercial break. We're going to sell back all the upgrades on these properties. And when we return, we're going to find out who's going to go on to our bonus game for a chance to win $50,000 right here on the everybody's favorite game show. It's Monopoly. Welcome back here to Monopoly. It is time to bring this train into the station. Let's do it. We'll start with the player that finished round two there in third place, Mr. Jose Cosrez. He had negative $570. We add on by selling off his upgrades, which netted him an additional $600, which means tonight he will finish with $30. Better than nothing. We then move over to our second place player, our current champion, Brandon Scruggs. We sell back all of his upgrades, which is able to net him $3,200. We add that to his total, and tonight he finishes with $5,000. 
$5,520. And finally, we move over to our green player, Shipbrick. He had $5,908 finishing up that last round. We sell back all of his upgrades, which nets him an additional, and excuse me, I made a little error in my math. Thank goodness I went back. Yeah, I made a little error, but easily fixable. When I look back at that, $1,500, and when we add that to his total tonight, he finishes with $7,480. Shit, Brick, you are a new champion. Holy crap. Good game, everybody. Good game. Wow. Oh, boy. Congratulations. Absolutely. Back into no, it could have gone either way. I'm not going to BS that. All right. Let's go ahead and talk to our other players. We'll be back with you in just a moment, Shit Bricks. So, first, we start with you, Jose. Um, let's try to keep this just as as calm and as sportsmanlike as possible. You do get yourself up into the positive for it's all over. Uh, you finish with thirty dollars. Yes, that's not going to get you up into the top nine. Um, I, I would. I normally ask players, "Did you have a good time?" I don't feel like you did tonight. But what? Let me ask you this: What can you take from tonight's game that you will hope to be able to put into place the next time you make it on stage? Let's keep my rage to myself. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, a good was, answer. It, yeah, it it was it. <laughs> But can you blame me? It, it was tough against these two these two players. The, they're good at these are two of the best trivia players I think I've ever gone up against. I was unfortunately on the edge of my seat. Just huh, unfortunately, just it's just not my night to get a win today. Well, and and you ask, you say, can I blame you? Um, they were tough opponents. Can I blame you? Uh, well, you always can be blamed for how you choose to handle things, but hey, that's yeah, okay. Blame me for everything. <laughs> well, th this is true. I, I do enjoy doing that. Uh, but again, you got yourself thirty dollars. That now takes you up to one thousand two hundred twenty dollars on the season. It does not change. Well, I take that back. It will technically change your placement on the leaderboard because now Shipbrick will be joining it. So you've now f fallen down to 15th place. But, hey, there is still opportunity for you to get yourself on the board. Uh, will we see you back again before the season ends? I uh, will try to get on here again to give myself a final chance. All right, ladies and gentlemen, go ahead and make sure to give it up there for Mr. Jose Cosrez. <laughs> give him the love. Give him the love. Good luck to you, Shipwreck. All right, Thank next, you. of Thank course, you. we move over now to who is our former champion, Mr. Brandon Scruggs, $5,520 tonight. Very good showing, but ultimately, um, your undoing was, of course, community chess. So tell me, tell me, how does it feel when you play the game pretty much the right way when it comes down to just one, I, I want to say chance, but it wasn't chance, it's community chess, uh, when it comes down to one card being the difference in the game? That's unfortunately the that's unfortunately the game of Monopoly itself. I say I can't say anything that I played terribly. I mean, there was a couple of them I should have gotten, but even then, I don't think it it was not enough of a difference maker to overcome losing thirty almost four grand, and like that that's a hole you don't get out of very easily. So yeah, as soon as that hit me, I was like, I'm doomed. But hey, I I fought like hell, tried to get back, and well just wasn't enough tonight but hey you, you have been a fantastic champion for us again that was your second um performance here on the stage this season you're going to leave us for now with a total of thirty eight thousand and eighty five dollars which at this moment places you fourth overall on the leaderboard and there's still another nine episodes left in the season hopefully we'll see you again before the tournament We'll see. Thanks for, that. Right, thanks for being here. And now that means we move over to our champion, Mr. Shipbrick himself, $7,480. That alone, uh, when we take a look at the leaderboard, would have you up to, if I'm not mistaken, right now you would be in 10th place. So... <laughs> And, and matter of fact, I'm going to do a quick little organization because I feel like you need to know this for the bonus game and shuffled. So, no, I take that back. You are in 11th place. But oh. do want you to know this. At a ninth place, you are currently only just 
just under fifteen hundred dollars away from being in ninth place so this bonus game can do a lot for you i know you're feeling good about your play are you ready to see if you can go over here and win some money money in the bonus game so once we're on the board i'm ready to go all right let's do it let's go once around the block i'm sorry i'm on the block god bless all right shit brick again this is your chance here to add on a lot of bonus cash and to get yourself into that top nine here is how we do it so of course we're going to give you five rolls those five rolls are going to help you try to make your way fully around this board if you can make your way completely around this board in those five rolls we will give you twenty five thousand dollars in bonus cash if somehow you could be the second person ever and the second person this season to land exactly on go we will double that and you'll walk out of here with fifty thousand dollars in bonus cash but now we can't make it just that easy so you'll notice up in the upper right hand corner we've got that go to jail space we're going to add four additional go to jail spaces on there to make things a little tougher for you so you're going to add one on the second street between st charles place and new york avenue you'll add one on third street between kentucky avenue and marvin gardens then you'll need to place two on fourth street between pacific avenue and boardwalk so if you would shit brick tell me where would you like to place your one on second street states avenue states avenue all right third street marvin gardens marvin gardens and then finally we need to put two on fourth street let's not be stupid or be dangerous let's put it on luxury tax and boardwalk luxury tax and boardwalk first time i believe i've seen that but hey it might work out for you so now we've got those space on there so there's five total go to jail spaces um i will remind you for every space you make it around the board we will add a hundred dollars into the pot right there in the middle you can walk away at any time of course if you use up all your rolls and you haven't made around we'll give you whatever is in the middle that will be yours to keep if you ever roll a double we will give you an additional roll to help you along your way so if you are ready, let's do this thing. We've got Mr. Monopoly over there with the rock and roller. He's going to go ahead and fire that thing up right now. And roll. And, okay, he said roll. Well, right out of the gate, there's doubles, and it's a two. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to do this first, and that's one first. last roll, and he rolled a two. All right, so that's $200 over into the pot. So shipwreck right now, you can walk away if you so choose, or you can continue on. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven is your only bad roll. So take two hundred dollars or keep going. I'll uh, have to roll. Two hundred bucks is not much. I All right, here again. we go. Roll up that, fire up that rock and roller. Tell him when to stop. Come on. Stop! Come on, box cars or something. No other four for a nine. Much. All okay, right, I'll that's going to that. be $900 added, and you're up to $1,100 already. You've got three rolls remaining. Right now, your only bad roll is a he's two. Got four, he's got four remaining. Yeah, because of doubles. Who's oh, doubles? I That's apologize. I, I, normally, I hear that ding, ding for doubles, and I didn't I didn't hear anything, so my bad. All right, that so you did. Was probably, there, there it is. Go. All right, so you still got that four rolls remaining then. Two's your only bad roll. What would you like to do? Well, oh, he's going to go. Fire up that rock and roller. That's to go. I, I need a big number. I need box cars in the worst way. Something big. Here we go. Roll. Come on, big ones. Come on, big ones. Roll it. Okay, I'm good. Three, Doubles three, again. Six, six. All so, right. We've got past one little pitfall there. We're up to $1,700. All right. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 12 is your only bad roll right now. So take 1700 or continue on. Well, I might as well keep going. All right, here we Not go. Fire that rock else. and roller up. Come on. Come on. Good number. Good number. Come on, baby. Roll it. Come on. Come on. Do it for Six and a one. Six and a one. Four seven. Oh, baby, please. We are up to $2,400. Now things start to get a little more dicey, and you need to think about it a little bit. You got three rolls remaining, $2,400 in the pot that you could walk away with and would get you into the top nine, or you can continue on. Bad rolls right now are five and six. What do you want to do? 
Mm. God, do I dare? I do need an answer. Uh, yeah, if scare money don't make money. Let's go again. Scare All right, money here we go. Money. Fire up that rock and roller. Come on, lucky seven. Come on, lucky seven. More than six. Come on. Do it for kid. Roll. Come on, baby, please. Do it for kid. Come on. Two and a four for a six. Dang oh, it. no. Um, for unfortunately, yeah. I'm so sorry. That means no bonus cash for you here, shit brick. It was a heck of a run, but you pushed it a little too far. Here's the good news, though. You're still going to walk away with what you want in the front game. $7,480. Hey, that's got to be a good that. little consolation prize there. And, again, you'll get to come back again next week. So tell us how you feel as we end tonight's game. Well, I mean, I was, I was surprised making it through. It, look, I was down. Then the community chest happened. I was like, okay, put the, put the pellets in the metal. Keep it on the gas. You know, making and then I was like, I was hoping for a seven. And I was like, then I would stop, but like, nah, I got greedy. I have fun. I'm good. I have fun. Well, hey, it was good having you here. So we will see you back here again next week on Monday night. Uh, again, of course, at the same time frame. So, ladies, y'all, make sure to give it up there for Mr. Shipbrick. He is our current champion. And now I bring over Mr. Monopoly himself. Mr. Monopoly, once again, the bonus game has claimed another victim. Uh, I'm not surprised at, at all this season with as many victims as we've claimed. I am not surprised in the least bit. Yeah, it's 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 almost like uh, the the uh, bonus game here is kind of like uh, um, Jose Cazares bitching during a game show. It just kind of grabs a hold of you and takes you under. <laughs> oh, um, oh, right. But yeah, so... But, you know, that definitely an interesting front game there tonight, seeing Shipbrick kind of come back out of nowhere and uh, get that one. As we say, and we tell people going in between round one and two off camera, as we say, this game is not over until it is over. Yep, especially when it comes to this bonus round. This is the reality check for some people. <laughs> Just when you think you're riding this high, here here comes the bonus round to just knock you right back into reality. Yeah, that that is so very true. Uh, I think this is a good time. Let's uh, before we get out of here tonight, let's do something that we uh, don't do a lot of. Let's kind of take a look at what's going on in the uh, live chat this evening. Uh, let's see. I see we got a question there uh, from Mr. Robert Bishop. Robert, he's one of our uh, very loyal watchers. Uh, Robert says mm -hmm. to us, first of all, would Shedrick's takeover might also be a difference maker for the win? Second of all, did the green player uh, played or watch previous episodes to be the champ? So I guess we would have to to ask the green player there. Shipbrick, uh, did you want, do, do you feel like um, watching previous episodes has helped you win tonight's game? Yes, there's, there's always strategy to the games. You, you watch and see, it's like, you know what, what even works for me? And all of a sudden also, Again, you study and watch the stuff. It's like, okay, you got a chance. Just play the game. See what works. Well, again, it's it's different watching than playing. I'm just going to say that out loud. Mm -hmm. Well, and, and I think there's a lot of us here that can tell you, and Robert, don't know if you're involved in any game show groups or if you've ever considered joining them. One of the most important things I think I can say is don't ever just look at trivia that you don't know is oh man that's too hard why are they asking stuff like that take it as an opportunity to learn because trust me you will see that question again somewhere even if it's in a different form um right. and that's the thing always take the opportunities for this to be uh, op those opportunities to learn and to take in knowledge uh, I, I myself have had that so many times happen. I've been in, in one place and watched a game and, and heard about a question, been like, oh, I didn't know that. And a few days later, be in a totally different server, totally different game, and be asked a very similar question. But, like, oh, yeah, I remember that from the other day. So that that is definitely one of the strategies here is always trying to learn from the uh, questions that are being asked. And then as far as the takeovers making the difference, um, it is very possible that that could have made some difference. Uh, what we talked about off camera is probably the biggest difference that was made was in the community chess card that hit Brandon. Uh, that really was the major difference. Had he not hit that, uh, that right there would have probably caused him to win by just a little bit. But again, mm -hmm. this game... 
There, there is strategy, but there's a whole lot of chance, and I don't just mean the damn question mark that's in the middle of the board. Um, so, yeah, but but again, yeah, thanks, Robert, for your question. Uh, we'll start trying to do that when we're not running too far over time. So uh, thank you for that. And again, all of you that are out there that make sure that you come and watch our live streams, whether it is Monopoly or Sorry or Go or any of the other cool stuff that we've got going on, or even if it's the on-demand stuff, thank you. A sincere thank you because we do this for you guys. We enjoy doing it here, but our live stream stuff and the stuff that's recorded, we do it for you guys because we want you to be able to be a part of it. So always a genuine thank you for taking a little time out of your day and your night. And who knows, maybe staying up really late with us just to see the shenanigans that we've got going on. Uh, I know the question was asked earlier about uh, where was Monopoly and what's Go doing on. It seemed like you guys really enjoyed Go. Uh, Go will probably be continuing, whether it's an every Monday or every other Monday. Uh, you'll see Go normally come on before Monopoly, so don't be afraid. Monopoly will be there just uh, having a little fun with Go first. That gives me a chance to play. Um, so yeah, but as always, uh, like I said, thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you uh, give us a thumbs up on this if you liked it. If you didn't, make sure send us some comments. Even if you send us something on uh, Discord, uh, let us know what you're thinking about it, uh, about the show. Give us uh, constructive criticism. We'd always love to know what it is that we could do better to make your experience more enjoyable here. Um, Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so, and go out and tell a couple of other people about the channel so we can help Brandon continue to push this thing to bigger and better heights. And ring that bell for yeah. notifications so that you know when there is more videos coming. And I believe Brandon's still there. Brandon, go ahead. Jump in, buddy. Yeah, I hadn't left, but I was just quickly is going to say, no, we are almost at 1,600 subscribers. We could get there this week. If, you, if everybody out there would just tell a friend. I th honestly, I think as I looked earlier today, I think we're at like 1590. I think we can get there by the end of the night. We could get there by the end of the night. We could get there by the end of the week. But again, we're almost at 1600, which is way more than I thought this thing would ever make. So again, thank you so much for those who have subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? You come here and you watch all the time, but you don't subscribe. Why do you do such strange and unusual things? <laughs> Maybe that's the person you are, but that's, that's beside the point. But hey, if you want this to come directly to you so you ain't got to come find it every time, just push this button. It takes one second of your time. Push subscribe. Everything else will take care of itself. That's all we ask. It. Just push the button, subscribe, and we appreciate, again, this all the support you guys have given us over the last years. And um, in the weeks to come, one of the live streams, very soon, you'll know, we'll get that update that we're hearing as we're getting nearing closer time for... Um, game show marathon and you'll hear some information about that coming up in the weeks to come so just stick to the channel for that all right back to you turd yeah thank you yeah just remember yeah, just if remember, we're not mistaken this not is mistaken. our 93rd live stream now you may look in there and say wait a minute i see more than that if it's a two-parter on an episode we only count that as one so this should have been the 93rd live stream we're only seven away from that big 100 and i know brandon's got some really cool stuff planned for that and we're still talking about doing a little uh, doing roast a little of brandon scruggs on that night as well so definitely be keeping an eye out for that and just a little idea for you you. this is something i did brandon told you we're close to 1600 if you don't if you don't have any friends that aren't already subscribed give your mom a call give your dad a call brothers sisters even if they don't have a lot to do on youtube maybe they don't really get into game shows just tell them say hey i got a good friend they've got this really awesome channel will you just subscribe for me that will make all the difference in the world and that lets us bring you more great content that we try to bring to you guys each and every week, whether it's live stream, whether it's recorded, and we can bring you more and more. So help us get that support. But it is that time for us to get the heck out of here. There will not be a third stream, I promise. The next time that you should be seeing us will be on Thursday night when it is time for, I believe it's episode 24 of Sorry the Game Show. We are almost at the finale, so be ready for that. But as we get out of here, he was Jason Myers. I'm Turd Ferguson, and you sure as hell aren't. We'll see you here next time for another episode of Monopoly. Take care, and bye for now. <laughs>